and today is another day. Um, basically, um, Home Kids want to discuss the issue of the mass failure of mathematics. We are aware that most of the students in the Gambia are failing mathematics and English. But the worst part of failure comes from mathematics. Why? Because people don't believe in mathematics and they think uh, mathematics, um, they cannot do it. So I think um, students need to be motivated with me. I have Mohamed Rame, a young boy and who is inspired to write a mathematics book just at his age. So he's going to tell us his name, where he comes from and which school he is and the passions exactly um, what really motivated him to write mathematics book. So Honorable um, Mohammed Rame, knowledge is wisdom and wisdom is everything. That is why when you are called Honorable, it simply means there is something inside you, you know, that need to be um, aware. So please kindly introduce yourself. All right, uh, thank you very much, Zim. Uh, it's a great honor to me to be here today. Once again, my name is Mohamed Rame, and I'm a student of uh, Nusrat Senior Secondary School. At the same time, a member of uh, Youth and Children Advocating for Media Excellence, which is our association. They are built to empower and motivate kids of all you know, different talents. Uh, today, I was very, very happy when I was called by you in order to attend an interview whereby we'll be talking about the mass failure of mathematics in Gambia. Not in Gambia only, or in Africa, or across the globe at large. Uh, I'm very happy to be here. Thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Um, Honorable Drame, yeah. I would love you to tell me how old are you, and what really inspired you to love mathematics than any other subject. Uh, well, uh, I am 20 years. Your question is extremely important because, anyway, it started from a long way. Uh, but then I was very, very young, and then the motivation and the inspiration itself comes from my parents. Because uh, my mom is a mathematician, alongside with my sister. Uh, but the time I was very young, she used to bring um, mathematics toys, you call mm -hmm. it. Like they are James, I don't know whether you can recall the abacus. Yeah. yeah. So I was very interested in it. Because whenever I saw those abacus, I was by then maybe two to three years. I was very interested. I was like, wow, mom, what is this? You know, she'll be telling me that uh, we use this instruments in order to count. Sometimes she'll bring stones mm -hmm. and then she will be telling me that this, these are five stones now. If you take two from these five, how many remain? Three. Oh, I start capturing those small, wow. small you know, knowledges. So that's how I was inspired. Yeah. Um, Mohamed Rame, that seemed to be very interesting. Yeah. Um, like I at least said, knowledge is wisdom. Yeah. And I want to tell you something. I want you to tell me, why do you think many Gambians are afraid of mathematics? Uh, well, there are so many factors uh, uh, leading to this problem in the Gambia here. And then the first factor is like, uh, people fail to love the subject. You know, in everything you do in life, you have to have its passion. And once you like the person, then you are planning to fail. Mm -hmm. Like, failing to plan is planning to fail. Exactly. Because uh, mathematics is a subject that needs love. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, once you are not enjoying it, they will mean like you are, you know, failing. Mm -hmm. Let's, another factor affecting it is like the teachers. You know, some teachers consider the subject of how they teach or deliver the message to the students is kind of critical. Mm -hmm. And that is something, we you know, which affects the students because the student believes whatever the teacher said is the right thing. Definitely. So when a teacher is not delivering the message in the right way, then the student is starting to give up. Okay. Like, uh, we have different kind of teaching mathematics. Mathematics is a subject that, you know, it's among the best subjects and it's the only subject whereby you can have thousands of ways, you know, to get to a solution. Mm -hmm. Like you can use plan A, plan B, plan, three, uh, plan C and the likes. Mm -hmm. You know, mathematically you call it uh, formulas or methods. Okay. Yeah. So, you know, some teachers use a very, very long way to calculate mathematics. Let's take for instance, uh, we have different topics in mathematics and I would love to talk about one of the topics like mm -hmm. that of um, let's just trigonometry. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a topic that we have, you know, different formulas to work it out. Okay. But some teachers like this formulas or the steps that they use, you know, it will make the kids, uh, that children kind of, you know, scared Not to understand. Subject. Not to understand. Yeah. So, um, Mohammed, um, I know you are one of the boys um, that got A1 in mathematics during your grade 9 yeah. um, performance. And that was like, wow, you know, I, I couldn't believe it. Yeah. Because what happened, I was thinking that, you know, you're not going to make it. 
I was thinking that he just said, I love mathematics by your mouth. Tell me, how did you, you know, how did you manage to, to, to have A1 in mathematics during your grade 9? Yeah, as I just mentioned earlier on, it's all about determination. I was very determined about mathematics as a subject. And then because I get the knowledge that, or the concept that it's the gateway, you know, and one of its uh, definition mathematics like it is like a subject whereby, you know, if you have mathematics as a, create, as a subject which you created or get in, you know, wherever you admit to, you'll be able to go, to carry on. My father so my, my, my person was like, I went to a, a pursuit science as a field of mm -hmm. specialization. So I know that if I don't have mathematics as a subject in my list, I won't be able to carry on. Yeah. And beside that, I love the subject and I always carry on. <laughs> <laughs> and my father once told me that um, if you said one plus one is two, it, in any language that you mention it, it's going to be two. But what is, is the only language um, um, numbers that you, can, you, you count it, one plus one everywhere is the same. But Mohammed, I want you to tell us what really inspired you to say that you're going to write mathematics for the first time as a business student and you are into um, writing a book of mathematics. Which I have never come across. That's well, for that well, this is uh, it is a matter that many people will just know it. Uh, I'm planning to. Lower the <coughs> Okay. This is a case that many people, you know, they have no knowledge about it. Like that I'm planning to write a mathematics book. It was my mom who inspires me, and I'm always proud of her. Okay. Uh, she once told me that, uh, Mohammed, by then I was in grade, I think seven to six. Okay. She told me, what is your favorite subject? And I told her mathematics. She told me, okay. Now, how can you help the other students who are always afraid of mathematics? Because whenever I told people that I love this subject, they become kind of scared. Like, oh, yeah, surprised. now I was, now, now I was I'm surprised. About, you know, something which is disturbing the whole country, across the globe, you know. A young boy is saying that he loves the subjects as a person to him, then that was a surprising matter. Then my mom told me that, how can you help those other students? I told them, I told her, like, I can, you know, organize classes. But then I was very young. I used to help my friends. I can organize classes then, you know, for free, no problem. Mom tell me, okay, how will that last? I tell her, what do you mean exactly? Tell me now, how will that last, you know, by organizing classes? You want to be a teacher? I told her, no. <laughs> so you just after school, I think you will travel, right? I tell her, yeah. She tell me, all right, now, why don't you come up with something that people will use even after... Uh, you are not there. Yeah, even when I'm not there. You know, I was like, I don't know, what can I do? Yeah. My first concept was like, putting on videos then, you know, teaching people. Mom tell me, not everyone is interested in watching videos. I told her, yeah, that's right. Now, what is the solution now? So, why don't we write a book? So at this age, wow. you yes, if you have the, uh, the courage and the passion to write a book, then you must make it. Definitely. So, okay, then how can I do it? She told me, just like, always night, whenever you are free, you know, bring on formulas, on equations, try and work in them, you know, throughout. Then you will make it. So, I have already started the project. Yeah. And then, inshallah, in a few years to come. That's you know, right now, I'm still, I'm still studying, so I don't have enough time to, you know, to encounter all these things. Then, but I have already... Uh, okay, okay. Uh, Mohammed, um, I would love you to use any mathematical terms like when they say x plus x is equals to x, find x. Um, Mohammed, these are some of the things that normally convince the students and it seems to be very stupid um, <laughs> in a sense that people don't understand. So you tell us, um, if we, you are told to find x and x is there, how are you going to find it? Okay, well, that is... Um, <laughs> It's a long way, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, mathematics, there it is a subject whereby uh, it's a linked subject. Like the gra the more you go, it's a bit of more fancy. Like the more you, you go, you know, the more knowledge you have. It's a gradual process. So like you, what you are talking about, like finding x. If you take this such equations to a grade ten student yeah. who have never came across certain topics, topics like integers, topics like uh, expo um, multiplication topics like uh, inequalities, you know, you will be very surprised about it. The issue of having X and Y, you know, this is the nature of mathematics. Okay. Every subject has its own nature. Like, let's take for instance agriculture. Whenever you talk about agriculture, the first thing, when it comes to problems and solutions, the first thing you will mention is the government should provide. Right, right. So the tools. every subject has its own, you know, its own method or its own, you know, we call it slogan, okay. you know, per se. But now, it's convincing when I say, um, find Mohammed when Mohammed is standing in front of me and okay, I can no, touch him, I can see him. Okay, <laughs> so and they say, Find Mohammed, and yeah, I'm seeing you. So, in terms of mathematics, they say x plus x, 
finance. No, they don't tell you to finance. You only know that X is around. Find the value of X. Ah, okay. So, <laughs> so Mohammed, and you also tell me sometimes of mathematics, like uh, right. when you say nine times eight or eight times seven, you have a shortcut of answering. Yeah, yeah, okay. Those are, uh, we call it mesomas, or those call it different names. You know, we have a uh, shortcut ways of calculating mathematics. Like, you know, some people, it all depends on the intelligence. Like, some people, the, the Romans use a very, very easy way, you know, to calculate. Like, for instance, let's use the nine time table, mm -hmm. for instance. You know, sometimes when you are in the hall, like, you get out of grade, the grade nines, they are not using, you know that the exam have just passed, not too much, not long. You know, sometimes they are not allowed to use calculator. Definitely. So, for those students, I would love to give them this knowledge for free. Okay. Like, when you are put, um, uh, calculating the nine times table. It's not free. Time. You are not giving the knowledge to them free. <laughs> okay. But remember, you also gain in the reward. So. Okay, thank you. <laughs> so, anyway, like, when they say uh, nine times nine, mm -hmm. then you have to use your fingers. Okay. Oh, sorry, nine times six. Nine times six. You have to put on your fingers, your ten fingers. Okay, like this? Yes. Yeah, you count from one to six. Like okay. One, one two, mm -hmm. three, four, five, five, and this is six. six. Yeah. So, your this six will be bent now. Yeah. Then how many values do you have around this side? This is five. This is five. Yes. You write down your five on your left hand side. Okay. How many values do you have around this side? This is um, like four. Four. Okay, you write your four. Okay. Make it fifty-four. Four. Then if you use the calculator, calculate nine times six, you have fifty-four. Four. Not only uh, nine times six, you have nine times eight. Okay. So Nine times nine. Mm -hmm. But if you want, you can use it out because you calculate you just count. One, two, three, three four, four, five, five six, six, seven, seven eight, eight nine. nine. Bring down your this one. And then you How many have, values are on this side? Of course we have five. No, this side. Uh, this, this, this all this? Yeah. Um uh, okay. We have eight. You have eight. Write down your eight. Uh -huh. How many values do you have? We have one. Okay, write down your one. Make it a one. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is really nice. All depend on your password and then if you want to I never I never knew that. Definitely. Okay. Well, um ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, having person of doing something is very important. And now I would like to say thank you and from here we're gonna go into the classroom or we're gonna do the practice on on board. So I think um, you need to subscribe and Mohamed, what is your final words to the Gambians, um, especially the one who hate mathematics? Okay, my this advice is a very important one, like you have to be very very careful, not only with mathematics but all the subjects, but mathematics in particular, why? Let's take for instance like last year, the result was very very poor, not that we don't have passes, we have passes, but the problem was that, you know, you know, the subject that is required for your admission to the university was mathematics. And in the Gambia here, almost, I can say almost 70% or 80% of the students failed mathematics, mm -hmm. okay, passed. They were not having the required math to enter the university. And out of 12,000 or 13,000 students, only 400 students were qualified to enter the university. Why? All because of the neglect the subject of mathematics. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, anything that will lag you behind, you know, you have to overcome it. People will be saying like, no, this is so difficult, I won't be able to do it. I will not lie. You know, the main the main definition of education is overcoming the difficulties. Mm. Like when something is difficult and you left it there, you're not learning. But once something is very difficult and then you know you 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 just have the person to overcome that difficulty or to overcome those challenges, that's the time you are called a champion. That's the time you call someone who's learned. Definitely. So that's it. So um Shout out to your loved ones. Okay, my shout out goes to you. Thank first, you. And then all the members of Yaka. Mm -hmm. Not forget it, Amadou Damso. Thank you, and Amadou. Then, above all, my mom. Uh -huh. Mommy, sweet mom. Yeah. Including my own too. My dad. All mothers. My greatest thank goes to Allah. Allah, thank you. That this. is God. Thank, thank you me. very much. Um, ladies and gentlemen, that is Mohammed Rame from today. I address him, Honorable uh, Mohammed Rame, the man of mathematics. He got the brain of mathematics. He's not only handsome, but he got the. Um, he is fast in calculating. So I think if you need help, please try and link him. And don't forget to subscribe us on YouTube. Follow us on Facebook by typing Y A C A M E Yakam. Um, similar way on YouTube Y A C A M E. Oh, Google us Y A C A M E Yakam, and you would definitely come across if you wish to sponsor. As usual, it is needed. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Till we come on your way. Once again, my name is Musa Trawale. You are free to call me VM The Voice. Thank you.